What's up, y'all? Carol's here today with Jordan. Hey. We have the same shirt on, and we're here to talk to you Definitely. about a couple of original models from Epiphone that have been reissued. From a couple of original models themselves. That's true. Oh! So like I mentioned, these are a couple of original body shapes for Epiphone, a couple of uh, models that were introduced in the late 50s and through the 60s. The ones we're gonna talk to you about today are the Coronet, the Wilshire, and the Crestwood. Which is what you have right there, that's the Crestwood. Yes, this is the Crestwood here, you have the Coronet. So why don't we start with that one, the sort of most basic uh, arrangement there. Yeah, so when I think of the Epiphone Coronet, I kind of, the comparison for me goes straight to like, it's Epiphone's Les Paul Jr. Right. Like it's their beginner guitar, which they probably marketed to students back in the day. Right. But we just had this conversation before this video started, that Epiphone, before they were owned by Gibson, it wasn't a brand that was under them. It was right. highly regarded in their own right. And they were actually Gibson's main competitor. Yeah. So it wasn't necessarily a budget line too once Gibson took them on. It was just sort of like an ulterior yeah, think, brand that they can yeah, offer. They were right. still in Kalamazoo even right. after Gibson purchased them, exactly. which is where these guitars are made. And we've had quite a few coronets come through. And I think every time we all freak out because we don't realize how good the Epiphone coronet was and still is because right. this reissue has been done really well. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing that they share is all pretty much the same body shape, scale length and features. Mm -hmm. So their mahogany body, mahogany neck, which like a lot of the recent Epiphones is one piece. So no scarf joint or anything along those lines. They all have Indian laurel fretboards. The things that change across the different models are obviously the pickup configurations and some of the appointments here. So. Yeah. You run through this one, obviously very similar to Les Paul Jr. Yeah. SG Jr. Yeah, single dog ear P90. I like that they do the lightning bar on the wraparound yeah, bricks. Helps, yeah. They the intonate very well, yeah. Yeah, 22 frets, got the pearl dots. I like the Epiphone badge at the yep. top, just like yeah. the originals the did. The bikini logo, so to speak. Yep. It's like a bikini bottom. Yep. And uh, yeah, just the coronet's one of the best guitars ever. It's just single P90, all you need. Yep, that's cool. That's it. Then on the opposite end of the spectrum, the uh, Crestwood has two mini humbuckers with this cool original Epiphone tremolo design that works quite well. It looks cool too. And it looks pretty cool. It's got the wood badge, yeah, with the Epiphone badge there and on the pick guard, which is clear on the sides. Mm -hmm. It's got these like nylon or micarta saddles. A cool upgrade for a lot of these, they all have CTS controls on them as so well. So true. Yeah, so that's a nice touch there. Yeah. I like the way that this is strung through too. It's not like a Bigsby where you're like dying to hook it on like the hook ends. Of a right, Bigsby. it strings through. It's a string through. So yeah. you go there, wrap it around, up to the tuning pegs. Yep. Good to go. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So let's move on to the uh, Wilshire, see what that yeah. one's about. Yep. So now we're taking a look at the Wilshire, which is pretty much like the most well-rounded version out of the two. It's not too stripped down. It's not too ornate with two Sopar P90s. Yeah. Yeah. Which we love. And two pneumatic bridge. Right. So a little bit different. It's going to have a little more of a tighter feel to them. Yep. But it's just a standard great rock guitar. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Can't go wrong with it. And it's cool because this one comes in two colorways, as does the Coronet. Yeah. Both ebony and that classic cherry finish. Yeah. I love the white button tuners. Yep. Bikini badge. Yep. Gold foil logo. Yep. I like how it has the tortoise shell on these. Yeah. As opposed to the white guard in the it's Coronet. pretty slick. Yeah. So I guess all we have left to do is play them. Yep. Let's see how they sound.
So this has been the Coronet, the Wilshire, and the Crestwood. The thing that's really cool about these guitars is they're very reasonably priced for being cool reissues. They are set in necks. Mm -hmm. You also have really nice access up to the very highest frets here. Yeah, all the way up there. Look yeah. at that. I'm not even trying. Yeah, so they're really right cool, there. like, <laughs> kind of different models. If you want to have something maybe on stage with your band. You play like, one. Yeah, I play a coronet with my band, actually. Look at that. Guitar's killer. I might have to get one of these, too. Yeah, totally. It's Super a great fun. sort of, like, off-the-beaten-path option. Currently, the prices range from $449 for the coronet up through $599 for the... Uh, Crestwood. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. So check them out on our site, themusiczoo.com. Subscribe to our ZooTube channel. And follow us on our socials at The Music Zoo. Leave a comment which guitar you like the best. And which shirt you like the best. Fine. <laughs>